Sometimes on the internet you just need to search for the right phrase to find the information you're looking for. I search for can I get my kids back and this very interesting article came up. Mark Smith examines the way a family court judge dealt with an application for the discharge of a care order. It is a question often asked at the end of family care proceedings can I get my kids back? It is a serious question and one that should be carefully considered with the benefits of legal advice. Mostyn J recently considered this issue in GM versus Carmarthenshire and Anor 2018 EWFC 36 and made some comments that will interest parents and local authorities alike. Discharging a care order the short answer to the title question is yes. The Children Act allows for a care order to be discharged, section 39, and remarkably provides next to no guidance on when this should happen. It is purely a matter of judicial discretion. The courts have had to fill in the gap in the legislation. How will the court decide? The test previously set out for discharging a care order was simply to exercise its discretion in accordance with the overall obligations in the Children Act to act in the best interests of the child with their welfare as the paramount consideration. Although it would clearly be a factor in assessing what is in the child's best interests, the court was explicit a parent does not need to show that the previous risk of harm no longer applies. Re S discharge of care order. I'm not sure what these uh, re's mean. There's re S and there's a re B somewhere. So I'll, I'll give the link to this page in the uh, comments section so you can look it up yourself. GM versus Carmarthenshire. Mostyn J looked at discharge of a care order through the lens of the oft-quoted Supreme Court decision in Re B. He highlighted the European case law referenced in Re B, including the positive duty on the local authority to facilitate family reunification as soon as possible, K and T versus Finland, and ordered discharge as he felt the concerns about the mother were unsubstantiated. The judge did not claim to change the test established in Re S, discharge of care order. In fact, he did not even refer to it. He stated that there is something close to a format threshold requirement in play and that Re B means the court should not ask whether there is a good reason to disrupt a stable placement, but rather, is there any good reason why the mother cannot resume the care of her child? What is significant about this decision is that rather than simply being one of the factors in assessing the child's best interests, Mostyn J appeared to consider the mother's risk of harm as almost the only factor. Having made some very controversial comments about att attachment theory, he seemed to give barely any weight to the strong attachment the child had formed with the foster carers over the previous two and a half years. He has rhetorically asked what more could the mother have done? The answer is nothing. Some may think the best interests of the child depend on more than this. What does this mean? For parents, this judgment will be a useful tool given its focus on the positive duty of local authorities to seek to reuni reunite families. But local authorities and social workers may be surprised at the judge's approach, particularly his comment that the child should not have been told that they will be staying permanently with their foster parents and that to do so was a major dereliction of the local authority's duty. How many of you, of you have heard that before from social services? The child will not be coming home. 
in the longer term other and possibly higher courts will no doubt have reason to comment on the Mustin Jay's decision. If it meets with approval it may result in Reby having as significant an effect on discharge of care orders as it has in adoption cases. Mark Smith is a barrister at 5 St Andrews Hill.